Good Wednesday morning. In today's devotion, Nikki Gumbel asks, Have you ever been talking to a friend about your faith and they look back at you with a blank stare? They have no idea what you're talking about. And when you talk about a relationship with Jesus, to them it's like you're speaking about an imaginary friend. It makes no sense to them at all. (laughs) Been there, done that. Apostle Paul makes the point that you can only understand spiritual truths with the help of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God. They're folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they're spiritually discerned. The spiritual person judges all things, but he himself is to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. The natural man and the spiritual man. They're two very different things. This phrase, the natural person, it's not about vulgar, hateful sinners. Paul's simply identifying the person without the Spirit of Christ, the person who's not born again, versus the person who is spiritually alive, the person who's had uh, an encounter with the Lordship of Jesus Christ and has come to know spiritual life. See, here's the rub. The natural person is spirit, but that spirit is spiritually dead. The natural person is wholly incapable to see, to feel, or to act as a spirit in anything that concerns the nature of Almighty God. This is the very reason we need the Holy Spirit. He gives us spiritual discernment, enlightenment, if you will. By contrast, the spiritual person, specifically the the genuine disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, they have spiritual judgment. The old saying is, it takes one to know one. So speaking as a spiritual person myself, the things of God are not discovered by me. They're revealed to me, to my spirit, by the Holy Spirit. You know, the inquisitive intellect of humanity, it's, it's a great gift, but it's completely limited to these senses. Intellect has no awareness of anything beyond what it sees or hears or it can touch. The natural person is completely unaware of the real presence of God. He, he's, God's right in front of the natural person like a, like a window pane that they look through with absolutely no consideration of it. The work of the Holy Spirit consists in teaching the spiritual person to understand, to appreciate, to assimilate the divine truths that are revealed to him. More importantly, what the Holy Spirit reveals to a spiritual person, it's not something to be tucked away or saved like an idea. Paul says in verse 16, we have the mind of Christ within us. That's a pretty succinct expression, the mind of Christ, and it holds some deep spiritual truth. Herein lies the biggest distinction between the natural person and the spiritual person. The spiritual person has the mind of Christ. With the mind of Christ, we can, we can grasp the practical lessons Jesus taught, the aim of his teaching, and, and the sharing of his life with those who believe in him. I'm telling you, even if I had an unlimited amount of time, I don't think I could adequately describe today and define for you the mind of Christ. Like I said yesterday, some things are just better felt than tell. This truth is no less true today than it was when Paul penned it. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God. He's unable to understand them because they're spiritually discerned. Science, art, technology, humanity has made advances in every generation. But those advances of humanity do not bring a natural person even one step closer to the mind of Christ. That can only happen when your spirit is brought alive through being born again. Lord Jesus, thank you for life, spiritual life. That Lord, I'm more than just natural, physical, intellectual, but God, that you have breathed into me life, spiritual life, 
I'm grateful to know you, Jesus. I'm thankful for the forgiveness of my sins. I'm grateful for the transformation in my character. So God, today, help me to discern, to know what you would like me to do and be. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.